Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Shavi Zane, and I'm coming on to bring a message for the chosen. If you find that this resonates with you in any way, please be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment below, and let us know how it resonates with your circumstance. Also, I want to let you all know if you hear a ringing tone in the background, it is not my doing. It could possibly be from the app that I utilize. So, uh, my apologies for those of you who this aggravates, but I do not know how to fix that. Okay. So let's move forward. I do want to tell you all chosen that you all have really, really good karma that you have created for yourself. I feel like you've definitely overcome the negative karmic cycles. You know, if there was any past life karma that you needed to, um, overcome in this lifetime, you've definitely overcome the worst part of it. And many of you are like, okay, well, that's been my whole life damn near, but you've overcome, okay? This is definitely a new cycle, a new season for you because you are now awakened and you're consciously manifesting. You're consciously, uh, you're being very intentional about what you want, you know, speaking directly to the most high with anticipation that you're going to get it. No longer in that energy of begging or hoping for it, but you know that you deserve your birthright, you deserve your harvest. And so many of you have been putting those intentions out there. And so because you have been so intentional um, in manifesting what you want, there is abundance that's coming your way. 888 is your number right now, okay? Um, and 888 is the number of success. It's the number of wealth. It is the number of the infinity sign of that energy of what goes around comes around as above, so below, as within, so without. And so you all have become abundant internally. And this is why you're attracting abundance to you. You all have created that divine connection in the spiritual realm where you understand that there's infinite possibilities. And so if you've created that in the spiritual realm, then of course, in the material realm, now you're opening up doors to infinite possibilities. And so because of this, beautiful things are coming your way. Um, and it's more than just monetary or material success. This is like you attracting your soul tribe, you having peace in your life, you having good health, that energy that you need, that youthful spark, creative ideas that's constantly flowing through, you know, um, it's just, it's really beautiful energy here. Um, and so definitely you are stepping into your greatest potential. And so I definitely see a lot of abundance that's coming in. You're getting ready to access the fruits of your labor. So many of you, you've been laboring, you've been planting seeds and you've been waiting, patiently waiting for the harvest to come through. And this is actually going to move you into a space of living a life of luxury and a life of comfort um, and, and truly mastering your material reality here. Um, you know, you have balanced out your masculine and feminine energy. And so in your masculine energy, you've become that leader. You know, you've uh, taken on that position, stepped into your personal power. Um, you've protected your energy. You've set healthy boundaries for yourself. You're more disciplined. You're more structured and you're more practical in certain areas of your life. And with that feminine energy, you are attracting abundance. You have been nurturing yourself, healing yourself, you know, um, really working on your crafts and cultivating some things, you know, nurturing those seeds that you have planted. And so a lot of growth has happened as a result of that. And you're also tapping into your spiritual gifts, that intuitive, um, ability to be able to see things beyond the physical. You're no longer fixated on what you see right in front of you, but your faith allows you to anticipate that even if you don't necessarily see movement in the physical realm, there is powerful movement and um, shifts that's taking place in the spiritual realm on your behalf to ensure that in divine timing, you see the physical manifestation of your faith. And so many of you are also learning, you're gaining a lot of knowledge here, um, infinite wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You have high morals, you know, you're very protective of your energy. You've purified your energy. You are really in your divine masculine, divine feminine energy, and you have embodied both of those energies internally. And so this is why beautiful things are coming towards you because you, oh, you stood, you stood the test of time. Okay. 888 is your number. For some of you, 444 is also your number, but 888 is really what stands out uh, very strongly. And so 
for those of you who feel like, okay, well, I'm, I'm still kind of waiting. Don't give up. Keep focusing in on your creative ideas. Keep putting in the effort. Do not give up because you're going to reap the fruits of your labor here. Pour your heart into what you love. If you pour your heart into it and you do it with an open heart chakra and you celebrate in advance, celebrate the small milestones. Because the more that you celebrate the small milestones, the more that the most high in your spiritual team sees that you are ready for the big milestones, you know. And so it's coming. So you want to keep on, you know, cultivating that thing, using your imagination and, you know, tapping into your creativity and following your heart. Do what you love. When you do what you love, you're pouring the frequency of love into what you do. And so that's keeping you high vibrational every day. And when you are highly vibrational every day because you get to wake up and do what you love every day, that's when you attract what you desire. I was literally just watching um, the uh, Pursuit of Happiness. And I know that it is based off of a true story. Um, I wish I knew the man's name right now, but I don't know it off the top of my head. But, um, if any of you know, please put his name down below because it's very inspiring. I was watching the pursuit of happiness with my children. And in that movie, you know, he went through a lot. He lost, he, he could barely maintain financially. You know, they ended up staying in homeless shelters out in the street, you know, in the subways. And he was doing this with his son and he kept pushing to try to get this particular job. And, I mean, he ran through one stumbling block after the next, but he did not give up. He persevered. He studied. He did everything possible. His son actually kept him in a lighter energy. Like it was stressful, but he did what was necessary to try to shift the energy. And it was almost like when he began to, you know, accept the fact that he had to go through those necessary changes and to just, okay, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep pushing because at the end of this, there has to be a reward. There has to be a reward after going through so much heartache and, and turmoil and, you know, changes. There has to be something on the other side of this when you continue to press forward and you have confidence and faith that the most high has got your back front side and center. And so at the end of that, he ended up getting a job and it was very difficult because they was only hiring one person out of only, you know, out of a large group of people. And he had to do an internship for six months without pay. That's the risk. That's the sacrifice that he had to make knowing that he had a mouth to feed, a child to feed and, you know, needed to keep a roof over his head, but he persevered. And so it's so important to stay in the now, stay in the now. If you feel like, okay, the trajectory is going to take six months, it's going to take a year before you can really gain the answers that you need to whatever it is you're doing, then stay right here in the moment. Because sometimes focusing too much on what might come in the future can be your greatest stumbling block if you have not yet mastered um, your mind to be able to only focus on the positive things in the future. You know, if it's something that brings anxiety or keeps you, you know, uh, stressed out, then get back into this very moment and find peace in this very moment, find balance and, you know, that, that happiness in this very moment, laugh in this very moment, dance right now, you know, don't worry about what's going to happen next month for the rent dance right now because the rent is already paid. Or dance right now because you have somewhere to sleep tonight, even if the rent is not already paid. You see what I'm saying? You have to keep on pressing forward. Keep doing your spiritual work. Keep giving praise to the Most High Mother and Father. Giving thanks to your spiritual team for helping to guide you and show you which way you need to go. Because they're not going to let you stub a toe. They're, man, your spiritual team, they're going to look out for you because you deserve it. OK, and so the more that you raise your vibrations and stay in a lighthearted energy, the uh, the faster you expedite the process of, you know, change in your physical reality, especially if let's just say there's certain people that was in your energy, certain belief systems, certain fears, and you've gotten rid of those energies. Oh, whatever. The, that was a large part of the postponement for a lot of people. A lot of people don't realize when you hold on to the wrong types of people, that is a one of the greatest reasons for postponement of your inheritance when you know that they're toxic or your thoughts are toxic. So once you clear that energy and you purify your environment internally and externally, that's making room for the high vibrational 
gifts and abundance to come pouring in. That high vibrational um, abundance is going to provide you everything that you need to live a lifestyle of comfort. And so rest easy. Give yourself permission to take breaks in between, to regroup, you know, to relax, to recuperate, retreat, do whatever you need to do to get your energy back recalibrated and then get back on the, um, the path of really focusing in on what you love, but don't overwork yourself because that'll, that's a signifier of lack mentality. If you're overworking yourself to the point where you get no rest, that is a signal of lack mentality because you're not giving, you're not respecting your, your temple at that point. And so you have to have a balance in every area of your life in order to be on the right vibration because overworking yourself brings stress, it brings anxiety, and then that lowers your vibrations and then it puts more postponement on what you've been working so hard to get, which is ultimately the harvest, the fruits of your labor. So maintain that balance and just know that beautiful things are coming. Congratulations to those of you who have received those things already. Um, and then for those of you who are still waiting, just know that it is on the way. Um, and some of you, you're going to be relocating. You're going to be, you know, changing your residence or changing your jobs or elevating higher. Like you have really, really, you have the spiritual awakening has been good to you. It might've been difficult. It might've been, you know, of course it was trials and tribulations and you're still learning, but you have stood the test of time. You've walked through the fire and you came out diamond on the other side of that. So just know that, yes, you have come out winning and, you know, everything that's coming your way are the things that you have earned and that you deserve. Okay. You've gained a lot of experience and wisdom. And many of you will be sharing that wisdom with the world. Some of you have already started sharing your wisdom with the world and you've been waiting to see, you know, the harvest, you know, the fruits of that labor to see the growth, you know, um, and you're going to see that you will be seeing that as well. So stay enthusiastic about it. Continue to put forth the efforts and just know that prosperity is most definitely coming your way. That's my message for you all. I love you. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe, and I'll talk to y'all next time.